All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave, man. Um, I was supposed to do a review of this fight this morning. As soon as I was done um, doing live commentary, I, I pretty much ate breakfast, and then I passed out. <laughs> um, I, as you can see, you probably can hear it in my voice. I, I literally just woke up like, oh, it's, it's already like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I, I wanted to do a, a follow-up video uh, to the Fulton and New Age fight. And I might do more videos and stuff. I, I would definitely like to hear what... Stephen Fulton has to say about his performance and, and try to find some interviews out there. But um, look, let me start out by saying shout out to everyone that was here. Um, I got up at 3.30 in the morning and I covered the entire broadcast, you know, including all uh, all four of the pre-fights, you know, leading towards that fight. But there are a lot of long delays in between every fight. Because they were not going to start that fight until 8 a.m. no matter what. So even though there were knockouts in the previous fights and everything like that, um, they didn't start early. You know, so we did a lot of boxing. So shout out to everyone who's here. It was a good amount of you here. And um, appreciate you guys coming by. It was fun. We do what we normally do. You know, shout out to the new subscribers, but the people that were here. And I, I see most of my main sub supporters of the sh uh, channel were here in the comments. Anue stopped Fulton in eight rounds. And uh, the fight wasn't close. Okay. Um, I did think that Fulton gave a competitive fifth round. Okay. That was the first round that I felt like he was finally alive finally fighting like himself okay landed a good a good couple of shots in there but i still don't think he won the round okay that was the only round by, that i really felt like he was being himself though he was giving us what i expected from him um and i think the seventh round was a decent round from him but again it was another round that i gave to in a way i don't think fulton won a round all right i had it Seven rounds to zero going into the eighth round. Okay. And I want I wanted Fulton to win, you know, regardless of what I've said in other videos and, and as far as my my official breakdown, I wanted Fulton to win. And I thought after watching the weigh in, he would win and had a better chance of winning. You know what I mean? Um uh, you guys know I said I've been back and forth with this fight leading all the way up until the day of the fight. And I just can't believe how uncompetitive the fight was. Okay, I didn't think that Inoue would win so easily. And what I mean by that, the guy starts out looking confident as hell. He's showboating. You know, he's he's showboating. He's fighting with his hands, like his lead hand is down. He's not fighting out of a high guard or anything. He's just super confident in himself in a way that he is pressing forward to Stephen Fulton. He didn't seem concerned about Fulton at all. He let he stood right in front of Fulton the whole time. And Fulton stood right in, in front of him. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice. I, I I just couldn't believe how easy it was. Uh, the shock of him winning is, is not a shock. It's how he won. I mean, he did everything better than Fulton. He looked quicker. He looked bigger. He looked more powerful. He looked... He, he out-slicked him. He did everything better. He did everything better. There was nothing Fulton had on him. His legs were better. Everything was better. It looked like Fulton was moving up two divisions to fight him. And I mean, I'm talking about from the opening round. At least by the second round, Inoue didn't... He, you could tell in the way that he was fighting and his body language that he had this fight in the back. Now, as I was watching the fight and I said maybe Fulton needs... He starts slow sometimes. Maybe he just needs to shake off some of the nervousness because you can see that Fulton was a little nervous, you know? 
Um, I don't know exactly what the game plan was, but it was very little lateral movement from him. You know, I thought in the fifth round, he started to open up a little bit, but he started to move laterally a little bit as well. And I was like, okay, okay, he finally woke up. He landed a few big, uh, big right hands. And I was like, okay, he's finally up. You know, I like, I like the way he's boxing, you know, but that was it. After we got that round, it was just like, in a way, punished him again in the sixth round. And I just was like, all right, well, I guess that's over. <laughs> the eighth round knockout was was bad. And I mean bad, like, in a way, like, uh, he destroyed him. I think he landed a big right hand that where you could see Fulton slowly going down. And on his way down, he connected with a left hook. Sent him right down. All right, laid out. Looked like Fulton wouldn't even give up. He got up, and he got punished all the way to the fight was over. He got dominated, man. A, a lot of us already knew that Anoue was great. I didn't know he would destroy this guy like the way that he did, though. So, you know, there's there's a lot of people. They're gonna disappear. There was a lot of people, I seen a lot of knockouts by Fulton before the fight started. There was a lot of commenters saying Fulton by KO, all right? There was some by decision, some by close decision. I read, I, I, I saw a new A by a robbery. I saw a lot of comments that were anti a new A in some way. It just as early as this morning. I've seen them over the years, but just this morning, I saw, I gave you extra guys for predictions, and there was a lot of commenters that said Fulton by KO. This guy is a real monster. You can't talk about him being overrated. He just fought on old Denair and nothing more. Stephen Fulton had a good run at 122. He had a good run, all right? Those Fridays he fought were good, all right? And you can't take anything away from what he's done. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I hope he gets back in the ring soon at 126. And I said this on my live commentary after the fight. I said, Fulton, go back, jump on a PBC card at 126, not against Brandon, you know, not against none of the champions. Get back on the car at 126. Get back on the mix. All right. It was a good shot. I'm glad he took the opportunity. I know people are going to trash him because of the, the talk that he's done and because of the, uh, you know, the rap hand situation. All right. But he needs to go right back in the ring. All right. And don't let this this loss linger too bad. You know what I mean? Uh, I appreciate what he did because mostly most Americans, I know a lot of other fighters do it, but most Americans are not traveling. You know, at this stage of their career, they're not traveling to Japan to take this kind of fight, especially when they were on their way to another division. So I appreciate him taking the uh, the opportunity to do this because if he had moved up, and Nui would have moved up and fought someone else. Maybe it would have been a Marlon to, uh, to Palace. You know, it, it might have been MJ. It might have been, you know, someone else that is not as good and prestigious as a Stephen Fulton. Um, so I, I'm glad Stephen Fulton did this because in many people's eyes, Stephen Fulton was supposed to, he was supposed to expose Inoue in this fight. There was a guy that was in my comments that was just telling me and trying to argue about Stephen Fulton should be a pound for pound fighter and ahead of Naoya and anyway. There was a guy in the comments that was just saying that this morning. That he should be ahead of in a way right now. And this was before the fight. So Fulton, he's go up to 126. And he needs to get back in the ring immediately. Um, 
uh, as far as him fighting last this morning, something seemed to be off, and it might just be the nervousness, you know, because I think the opening rounds he looked very nervous, and I was saying, relax, relax. And New Way seemed very calm. He's been here before. He's fought in that kind of arena in front of that kind of crowd. He's done it before. You know what I mean? It was nothing new to him. Even if we think going into the fight was his biggest fight, it was the biggest matchup. It was it was a great matchup. But he's done it before. Fulton has never been in front of the lights like that before, and it showed. All right? Uh, there was nothing he could do to Inoue. You know, it it is what it is, but he did seem a little off, and I don't think it had anything to do with, like, something being wrong with him or anything. I just think that he got nervous, he got intimidated, and Inoue jumped on him early, and Fulton never got a good rhythm going. You know, I think, like I said, the only successful round he had was the fifth, and I still don't think he won the round. All right? I think it was a close round. Um... He needs to get back in the ring. That's it. You know, he's been out on the ring for a little while, and he needs to be at 126. All right? Uh, now, as far as Inoue moving forward, I have him personally at number one until Saturday. In my personal opinion, I think he's number one until Saturday. The winner of Spence, the winner of, winner of Crawford would be my number two. I mean, I mean, my number one, the winner of that fight, winner Spencer Crawford would be my number one. All right, uh, but right now I have him as number one until Saturday. You know, I think whoever wins Spencer Crawford would be a bigger win than Stephen Fulton. You know, or anything that Inoue did. Um, I will see them as the best fighter in the world. But Inoue is my number two. He's four division champ. Um, he is knocking everybody out. He's still the monster. This guy is special. Somebody asked me early in the in live commentary before the fight about him and Lomachenko in their prime. If they were the same size, I would have picked Inoue. I would have picked Inoue against a lot of people if they were the same size. All right, I'm not just talking about his how decorated it is. It's based on the eye test. I think what I'm seeing here. Is a special fighter. You know, and if he continues to do this, because let me tell you something. He's going to beat Marlon to Palace. He's going to beat him. And he's going to be a two-division undisputed champion and a four-belt uh, in a, in a four um, era. He's going to go to 126 after. He's going to go to 126 and he, they're going to have a problem up there. I mean, I just saw Robesi Ramirez on the undercard in the cold main event. And I don't think Robesi Ramirez be him. Not right now. I don't think so. I don't see it happening. I don't see anybody at 126 doing it. I was, I was waiting for this fight because I wanted to, I wanted to see, I wanted to get some confirmation how, Great this guy really is. I know he's great. But I want to get some confirmation. And he gave me that. If he goes in 126 and becomes a champion again, which I think he will after Tapales, by next year probably he'll be at 126. They got to be on the lookout. Because he's he's better than everybody up there. Right now. At some point, size will be a factor, but I don't think it's going to be at 126. You know, I think he's going to run through these guys at 122, and he should probably move right up to 120. Don't waste no time. Marlon Tapalis is already there. They're going to do their fight for Undisputed. Everything's already aligned. Hopefully, we get that fight by the end of the year, and then we can see a new way up at 126, causing havoc again. All right. Um, 
he's a phenomenal fighter. All right, I have him number one until Saturday. Um, you know, depending on how that fight ends. All right, but he's he's phenomenal. All right. Anyway, I don't I don't really have anything else to say. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash the like button, uh, and I will be back. Later on today, I'm going to do some content on Spence first. I'm going to do a strength and weaknesses uh, video for Errol Spence. And I'm going to do one on Terrence Bud Crawford. And then I'm going to do a final prediction video for Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford after. I'm going to break it up into three parts. All right. I'm going to do it a little different than I know what to do because it's, gonna, it's a lot to cover. And I don't want to do an hour breakdown of that one fight. And try to remember all of my points. It's going to be too many points I want to bring up for those two. And it's such a big fight. All right. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll see you guys a little later this uh, evening. Peace.